All right, today we have a new solar charge controller from SunGold Power. Let's open it up. All right, we got our user's manual. I believe this is a temperature sensor. Looks like we have a data cable. And there's the charge controller. So we got a nice blue case here. It's got a, a little display attached to the front here. There's our battery and solar connections. It's got a nice large heat sink here on the back. And the specs are right here. This is a 60 amp MPPT solar charge controller. And it can do 250 volts on the PV input, which is nice. And it will do 12, 24, 36, and 48 volt battery system. Oh, and according to the manual, it has a built-in Bluetooth module. So there should be an app that we can use to communicate with this. All right, so let's open up this front panel here and take a look. All right, so we've got our terminals here where we connect the battery, uh, the PV. We have several different connectors here. I'm not exactly sure what those are. I'm about to look in the manual. And then we have some RS-45 communication ports right there. And then we can kind of peek on the inside here. We can see our capacitors. We can see where the inductors are at. They seem to be potted inside of this metal case. All right, so let's hook this up to a battery and fire it up. All right, so I've got some four gauge wire connected. That's the largest that the manual says it will accept. And then I've got some PV cable connected here. And we're gonna hook it up to our SunFun kits battery. So let's go ahead and do just that. Okay. I see the screen coming on, flashing over here. And then it looks like it's, yeah, detected the battery showing 13 volts. Let me go ahead and tighten this terminal up. All right. Let's get this out the way. All right. So nice readable screen here. Let's see what happens when we, all right, so that shows the PV voltage. So nothing right now, since we don't have any PV hooked in. Battery voltage, battery percent. Um, I don't know how it's guessing that. Maybe it's by the voltage, which is not gonna be if that's the case, it would not be uh, very accurate for lithium iron phosphate. Uh, this is how many amps, I guess, are coming in from solar to the battery. How many watts, temperature, any error statuses, and back to the home screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in some solar. All right, solar plugged in. I heard a little click over here. I guess there's a little relay right here. All right, now it looks like it's charging. We got 64.4 volts on the solar. 13.3 volts on the battery. Look, we got 59.97 amps already going into the battery. <laughs> 831 watts. It is showing, I guess, an error 8 right there. I wonder what that's about. Let's take a look. So that uh, E8 is saying excessive charge current of input power of solar panel. So we've got too much uh, solar panel <laughs> hooked up apparently. 
I got these four bifacial panels hooked up. They're, uh, what are they, 380 watts or something like that each. So I guess uh, we should remove one set, but uh, we clearly are pushing 59.97 amps. And actually, according to the BMS app for the battery, it's actually showing we're pushing 65 amps. <laughs> so it's showing more on the battery. Interesting. All right, well, let's go disconnect one of these sets here so we don't continue to upset the controller. All right. All right, so this front one here is disconnected. And all we have is these two right here. Okay. Now we're showing 40 amps here. 562 watts and our error code is, is cleared so we got E0 so no error codes okay so we're operating normally and our BMS app is showing 44 amps coming in and our charge controller is showing 40.29 interesting Let's hook up a clamp meter here and see what it has to say. Yeah, the clamp meter is saying 43.6. All right, so I went ahead and reconnected the other array that was pushing us over the limit. But what I did was I did some partial shading on it so we could reduce the power and I think I got it right at 60 amps according to my BMS app you can see here 60 amps uh, on the controller it's showing 55.69 so yeah that's what I want to do. I want to just let it run right at that 60 amps. All right, so we're at 44.8% stated charge on the battery now. I'll be back in a little bit and check it. All right, so it's been running for a little while now. The meter here showing 55.6 amps. Uh, however, our battery is still telling us that there's 60 amps coming in. We are now at 63.89% stated charge on the battery. Seems to be doing just fine. So while this was charging, I went and downloaded their app. So let's pull that up. There's the charger there. It actually works quite well. I haven't seen any kind of quirkiness. It does have your history on it, so you can see uh, what you've done today, yesterday, days past, our settings. I actually did go in and change it to lithium iron phosphate. It was set to, I think it was set to lead acid by default but it has all the settings that you would expect yeah it's showing us our wattage here everything seems to be good all right so what i want to do now is i want to try at a higher voltage maybe let's do 48 volt all right so we got the sun gold power charge controller hooked up to a 48 volt battery now. I hooked this inverter up to it earlier so I could drain the battery down uh, really low. Actually, I drained it all the way down. And I've got these four panels all wired in series. Let's check our open circuit voltage. And we have 
right about 150, 149.9. So we're safe to plug this in because this supports 250 volts. So let's do that now. And there we go. We're plugged in. Let's see. We've got 103 volts that's reading here. doing 349 watts and that's because <laughs> and that's because we just got some cloud cover so we're pretty shaded right now so hopefully when these clouds move out of the way we'll get some production here all right so we got some sun poking out and now we have and now we have 1344 watts <laughs> nice. Let's see, I've got the app pulled up for the battery. It's showing 26 amps. The screen here is showing 24.18 amps, and we've got 25.4 here, so pretty close. All right, I'm just going to let this run for a bit. And I'll be back. Alright guys, so a little bit of time has elapsed here. We are still cranking at 1357 watts now. All is well. Unit's gotten slightly warm. Let's see. The top of this battery here, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The controller 106. The fins on the back are actually cooler. It's a little warmer up here at the front. I guess that's where the, since the inductors are right there. All right, so while this was running, I ran some numbers and I did the same thing when we were running it in 12 volts earlier. So I've got numbers for it as well. So in 12 volts, I measured the input voltage, input amperage, and wattage here. So we got 891 watts in. And then on the output to the battery, we got 827 watts out. Uh, so that gives us 92.74% efficient. Now in 48 volts, we got 1,376.16 watts in. 1,351.8 watts out, which gives us 98.229% efficient. So really efficient, especially at 48 volts. So that's really awesome, I like that. All right, so I was watching the video back and I noticed a typo in my numbers and I'll show you. Uh, so this is my scratch paper I was using to write these numbers down on. And of course, it's horrible. You can't really make it out very well. And so I redid the paper with the numbers that look a little bit better. Uh, when I did that, I wrote one down wrong. So this is not 27.75. It's 25.75. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's anybody going to catch that, uh, but if you did, that's the reason. That should be 25.75 amps, and then the numbers make sense. All right, so back to the video. And so looking through the manual as well, uh, was these ports right here. So I believe this one here is a relay, like a dry contact output that you can program. I don't know, maybe it's like at certain voltage levels or something, you can have it do something. Uh, then this other one, I believe, is a temperature probe. And I think this one is uh, like a voltage sampling at the battery, so you can 
like if you have a longer cable I think you can run those wires to the battery and it will know what the voltage of the battery is minus the drop here but uh, yeah I think that's gonna be it on the video guys let me know what you think about this charge controller I'll leave links down in the description and I'll catch you in the next one